All right, so we covered the uh, power catchers that do over the gadget ones. Uh, so with the bat signal, uh, they have uh, two ways to hurt you with it. They can either uh, hold forward interact to grab you, or they can put a bomb on it and jump away. Uh, the forward interact one you never see anyone use because it's kind of hard to land, and of course the easiest way to avoid it is to just duck it. Doesn't hit me. Looks like it is, but it's not. Um, the other one is the uh, the one that's more popular, which is to drop a bomb on it, and they do that by holding down and interact. Uh, to avoid this one, you kind of just want to dash. Uh, now. You don't want to hit them out of it, because if you do hit them out of it, what actually ends up happening... Um, if you go ahead and do it... Uh, first off, it's, it's hard to do it. <laughs> and if you do actually get hit him on them, you get a trade. So, bad news both ways. Don't do it. So that's a bad signal. Let's go over to the air conditioner. Uh, this one, the best way to avoid it is to simply just jump. So if you just drop the bomb, see it, jump, you're safe. By the way, I'm not going over the, uh, the, the the background bounces because they're only used in combos, really, and if you get hit with a raw one, well, you would've got hit with a punch anyway, so there's really no way to explain how to avoid that other than to duck. All right, water tower, gadget guys, knock it down. That's what we do. Close up. That's right, stand there. Mid-range, what do we do? That's right, we dash forward. Uh, mid range, or right, far range, what do you do? Back dash. Downstairs! I'm gonna go over the alley stuff. Uh, so, right here in the right corner, we are gonna have the fire hydrant and the little arrow sign. Fire hydrant, close up, what do we do? knock him out of it. If you notice how long it takes for him to start it up, it's really easy to react to it. So if you get hit by it, it's because your first instinct is to block because you saw him do a move. But in reality, your first instinct should just be to hit him out of it. Uh, next up is uh, mid-range. What do we do? It's back dash. Simple stuff. Uh, and far range doesn't even hit you. So. So what about this big arrow sign? Uh, they have to jump up to grab it. Close up, what do we do? Just knock them out of it, simple stuff. Uh, Mid-range, what do we do? Oopsies. Uh, Mid-range, what do we do? Get hit by it, that's right. I can't figure out a way to get out of this. Um, at this range. And I mean right at this range, this little sweet spot right here. I can't figure out a way. If you're over here, uh, what do we do? You just jump back. It's just like right, like right here. For whatever reason, there's no way out of it. No matter what you do, you can. If you back dash, the arrow is so long that it actually hits you uh, after your invulnerability frames run out. So there's actually, I can't figure out a way from that range. But if you're like kind of full screenish or just about there, you can just do a back dash into a jump back. It'll be fine. So let's go over to the. Uh, Dumpster time. Okay, so close up. You actually don't want to hit them. If you hit them, uh, you'll probably trade. Uh, that, that is, if you're hitting them on reaction. If you're for, like preemptively hitting them, you'll probably hit them out of it. But we're talking about you know reactions here. So what you want to do instead is to just jump. So when he throws it, all you gotta do is just jump over it. So throw whenever you want to, and we will get it. Okay. Let's try that one more time. There we go. There's this little uh, spot here in the wall. When the trash can hits it, it will actually roll out and then go back to position. All the time it's rolling, it's actually active and it will hit you. Um, there are some characters that can get out of that, but uh, poor little Lex here, there's nothing he could do about it. He will just get hit with it. I mean, he can do his, you know, armor three trait, but that's kind of situational. All right, so what about this tanker here? Uh, close up, what do we do? Smack him. It takes so long for him to throw, you can easily react to it. Uh, mid screen, unfortunately, uh, like that sign from earlier, can't avoid it. 
Uh, if you backdash, just backdash into it, and you can't jump it because it's too close up. But I believe some characters can duck it. Uh, Lex Luthor is obviously too big, so if he throws it, uh, you'll see that it looks like he could duck. He's just too damn big. Far away, uh, easy peasy stuff. You just want to jump 